Before the protests occupied our attention in Hong Kong, it's worth remembering why we all care about what happens in Hong Kong. It's been said that it is the jewel of Asia. In reality, it's the jewel of the world. Last year, my brother and our mutual friend Kevin went to Hong Kong in search of the question, what is Asia like? So, so yeah, this is an amazing uh, background. It's, it's actually pretty stunning. It's actually, there's actually more tall buildings in this one, in one city than any other city in the, in, in the entire world. It's just an eight-minute uh, tram ride to the top, and it's, it's pretty cheap. It's probably one of the cheapest tram rides to the top of a mountain in the yeah. world. So <laughs> it's definitely worth seeing. So come out and see it, and you'll have a great time. And make sure you see where Batman brings Lao to justice. This, this light is not working very well. Right. Yeah, it's chunk. <laughs> Okay. Thanks, John. But first, on our trip, Hong Kong. Hong Kong is the most fascinating, enjoyable, and exciting city on the planet. Why is Hong Kong one of the best places in the world to visit? Number one would be freedom. Hong Kong has been rated as the freest economy in the world for more than two decades, and it shows. The character of the people in Hong Kong is remarkably passionate, rational, and fun. People like great food, expensive services and products, and enjoyable experiences. Sadly, many people believe that the freedoms that exist in Hong Kong are starting to erode. Now, let's look at something else. Experiences. People love spending time doing fun things in Hong Kong, whether it is getting an expensive car, going on the Ocean Park gondola, Hong Kong Disneyland, and yet, yeah, there actually is a Disneyland in Hong Kong. I was there. Now, let's look at wealth. This tiny city-state has a higher GDP than Colombia, Singapore, Denmark, Finland, Vietnam, New Zealand, Kuwait. You get the idea. The people here are rich because the government pretty much stays out of economic matters. But how long will that continue? So right now as we speak, this incredible location in Asia is facing trouble. It might be surprising to see a place with such incredible people and a fairly stable in government having such significant problems. Every day there have been massive protests in Hong Kong, and some have turned violent because the government has used excessive force. How did this all start? The government of Hong Kong is not a democracy. Essentially, the chief executive is sort of a quasi-governor of the region. But she is not elected by the people, but rather a pro-Beijing faction of Hong Kong business leaders who have significant ties to the Chinese Communist Party. The government tried to pass a law that would have allowed Beijing to ask the Hong Kong government to extradite someone to face a quote-unquote trial in mainland China. The people of Hong Kong are rightly passionate against the law, as it would mean an end to the legitimate rule of law society where independent judges administer justice according to the facts and the law. In mainland China, there is no such thing as an independent court system. The government has, the government of Hong Kong, as we know, has for now said that it will suspend the law, but there isn't a guarantee that the law will not be brought back in some other form at another time. The people of Hong Kong are now aware that the system they live under, one country, two systems, is an un inherently unstable one long term because it means that Hong Kong will always have to reckon with the strong influence of Beijing which opposes freedom. Many of the protest protesters want full independence for Hong Kong. Only time will tell what happens to the good people of Hong Kong, but they deserve our support. We can do our part by contacting our members of Congress in the United States and letting them know that we are concerned about the erosion of freedom in Hong Kong.
actually don't like ending the video on a sad note any more than you do. So I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to next include uh, really great clips from Dis Hong Kong Disneyland. And uh, I hope it's appropriate. And my, my main reason for doing this is that even in these tough times, it's important to be optimistic and think of the happiest place on earth. Mainly because there are going to be good times ahead. Even when there are difficult times, there's always... Uh, something to be optimistic about in the future. So that's the reason why I'm ending this on a positive note by uh, showing some clips of Hong Kong Disneyland. And so feel free to subscribe and we'll uh, delve into a lot of uh, my trips to Asia and I also hope to also show you about how to save money and things uh, of that sort. So we're going to really delve into finance and travel. You need to subscribe right now and click the like button because this video is awesome and you know you agree. So hope, hope to uh, talk with you again.